All right, welcome to this video. In the last video, I showed you how to make a quiz and randomize a quiz uh, in many different ways in Microsoft Excel. But Microsoft Excel can be used for a whole variety of things. It can be used to create graphs and plot data, uh, crunch numbers. It can be used to interface with a database. Uh, or it can be used as a tool to help you study. So let's just say that you had some terms here, and you're, you're taking the frame of reference of the student. And you want to learn some terms here. And uh, how, do you, how can you use Microsoft Excel to help you learn these terms, what they mean. Well, I want you to think about this like flashcards. I want you to type in all your terms here and definitions. Um, and I want you to do that digitally because it's, it, it's much better to do this because it's always going to be there. So when you have to retest this on a midterm or a final, all of your terms are going to be there. And it doesn't have to be so simple as a, as a basic term and definition. It can be more complicated uh, situations. But this is the basic format here. I mean, you have something, you know, you have, you have a a term here and then a definition and you're just trying to learn what they are it's basic memorization so the first thing I want you to do here is I want you to come over to this term and I want you to click in column A we'll click it with the left click till it highlights like that and then right click and click insert so I'm gonna click insert and I'm gonna type in the word no okay and that means do you know what this term means and I'm gonna assume that in the beginning you don't know what any of the terms mean so you're gonna type the number zero a couple times here and you're just gonna fill that down I'm gonna I'm gonna assume that you don't know any of these terms as you go through and you learn these terms I want you to change the number to one let's just say so let's say you know some of these terms okay and you've learned a few of these terms along the way now you wanna focus on the terms that you don't know so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight all of these cells all the way up to where it says no then I'm gonna go up to data and sort and I'm gonna click sort and what I want to do is I want to sort this data by the terms that I know so I want to go from the smallest to the largest because I want to have the terms that I don't know on the top and the terms that I do know on the bottom so I'm gonna click OK so notice that it's sorted now uh, based off of the terms that I don't know the zeros here first and these are the terms that I know so these are really the terms that I want to focus on okay so as you're learning you're narrowing the process down okay so here's another way you can learn these terms. You can kind of make electronic flashcards in Excel. So here's how you do this. Highlight all of these cells like this. And I want you to go back to the home page. And I want you to click uh, font color here. And I want you to make that font color white. Now what that's going to do is that's going to make it look like the terms disappeared. right? You see how it looks like they're all gone? But they're not really gone what happens is when you have this window here it's going to show you uh, basically the function that you have or the text that's always going to appear so as I let's say I, I click to the next cell here there's nothing here right you don't see anything here but look up here you see that you see up here it shows the meaning of the word so this is like a flashcard right so you can take the cursor okay and you can flip up and notice that as I, as I flip up each cell the term appears up here you see it up here like this you see this you see it keep changing up here as I flip through each cell it actually shows the word here so this is like a flashcard right so this is really super organized it's very quick so you can quickly go through words and learn them in Microsoft Excel very quickly right and so let's say you go through these and you're just quizzing yourself and you're quizzing yourself and you're like okay so I know these this term I know this term I know this one um, I feel pretty good about this and this term here okay and so I want to sort them again now so I just go back to the same procedure highlight these cells and I click data sort and I'm going to sort by the ones that I know once again and it's going to keep dropping the one th the ones that I know to the bottom and the ones that I don't know at the top so this is how you keep narrowing your list now you don't have to make the uh, the font white you can go back to the home tab and make and just keep making them dark the whole time if you want if you want to study it that way but this is a pretty cool way to quickly organize your data and then quiz yourself all the time and then narrow it down and hopefully if you get you'll get down to the point where you know all of the terms and then you, you don't have to study them anymore. This is an organized way to achieve this goal and like I said you're gonna have this here in a file for your midterm and for your final or for any future class that you might have to take you're always gonna have this this information very organized and you're always gonna know where it is okay so that's all I got for this video thanks for watching and I'll talk to you soon